Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to make a website using One.com's Website Builder. Whether you're a beginner, taking your first steps in web design, or an aspiring website creator, this tutorial is tailored to guide you through the entire process. One.com's Website Builder offers a user-friendly platform that empowers you to bring your website ideas to life. In this tutorial, we will cover everything you need to know, from selecting a template and customizing your site, to adding content and launching it online. So please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the one.com tutorial. First, if you are new to the platform, you will need to sign up. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. On the home page, you will find various services that One.com provides, including domain registration, website building, and web hosting. Since our focus is on website building, click on the website option located at the top left side of the home page. Then locate and click on the website builder option. This will take you to a dedicated page for the website builder service. On this page, you will find the option to try the service for free for 14 days. Click on the try 14 days for free button to proceed. At this point, you have different options to sign up for a new account and start your 14-day free trial. You can choose to sign up with your email address, your Google account, or your Facebook account. After selecting your preferred sign-up method and clicking on Start Free Trial, you will be redirected to the One.com Website Builder page. First, you'll be prompted to add some basic information. If you haven't started yet, you'll see a screen with a message saying, Let's do it. Click on this button to begin. The first step is to add a name for your business or project. This name will be displayed at the top of your website and in search engine results. Enter your desired name and click Next to proceed. If you prefer not to add a name at this time, you can select the option, I'll add this later. Next, you have the option to add a logo to your website. You can simply drag and drop your logo into the blue highlighted box or click on Select a File to upload a logo from your computer. One.com recommends using a logo file in the PNG format with a transparent background and a size of around 200 kilobytes. Click Next to continue or select I'll add this later if you want to skip this step for now. Adding your contact information is the next step. This includes details such as your email address, phone number, and address. By providing this information, it becomes easier for visitors to navigate to your website to get in touch with you. Click Next to proceed or choose I'll add this later if you prefer to add this information at a later time. You will then be prompted to enter a few keywords that describe the content and purpose of your website. Based on these keywords, the website builder will provide template recommendations for you to choose from. This helps in selecting a template that aligns with your website's theme and goals. Click Next to continue or select I'll add this later to skip this step for now. Now it's time to choose a template for your website. The recommended templates will be based on the keywords you entered in the previous step. Templates determine the overall design of your website, including the layout and fonts used. Remember that all templates are fully customizable, so you can make changes later on if needed. Once you've chosen a template, you can move on to the next steps of customizing and adding content to your website using the One.com Website Builder. Your Website Builder workspace is now set up with your chosen template and it consists of different sections, a header, and a footer. Each page on your website will have these elements. The header and the footer are areas where you can include content that will be displayed consistently across all pages. For example, you can use the header for your menu and logo, while the footer can be used to showcase your contact information. To add content to your pages, you will be using components. Components are the building blocks of your website's content such as text, images, galleries, videos, buttons, and more. You can find all available components in the menu located on the left side of the Website Builder interface. If you want to add more components to your pages, simply click on More at the bottom of the menu to access additional options. To modify a component, double-click on it to open its settings. Within the settings, you can make various changes, such as adjusting the style, size, or position of the component. Additionally, you can set a component to link to another page or external website. When you click outside the component, the settings menu will disappear. If you wish to remove a component from your page, you have a couple of options. First, you can select the component and press the delete key on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can click on the icon that resembles three dots in a circle typically found near the component and select the delete option from the menu that appears. 
By adding, editing, and removing components, you have the flexibility to customize your website's design and structure to meet your specific needs and preferences. Experiment with different components and configurations until you achieve the desired look and functionality for your website using the One.com Website Builder. When it comes to editing your website's content, the focus will often be on text and images, as they are the primary elements of your site. Let's delve into how you can make changes to these components. To edit text on your website, you'll find that the templates come with placeholder or dummy text. To edit a text component, simply double-click on it. This action will allow you to modify the text and customize it according to your needs. Feel free to add, delete, or modify the text to convey your message effectively. Moving on to images. The templates usually include stock images. While you are welcome to keep these images, it is recommended to replace them with your own visuals to better represent your business or project. To change the background image, start by clicking on the background you wish to modify. This will select the image and allow you to make changes to it. Once the image is selected, you'll notice an option called Edit Section above or below the component. Click on it. Next, select Background and then click on the three dots next to the current image's name. Upon clicking the three dots, a new window will appear, providing you with several image source options. You can choose to upload an image from your computer, ensuring you have a suitable image file ready. Additionally, One.com offers a selection of free images that you can use for your website. If you prefer, you can also access images from Shuttershock. Once you have decided on the image you want to use, click Add to Page to apply the changes. The new image will then replace the previous one, effectively updating the visual content of your website template. In addition, you can also add or rename pages. Adding or renaming pages is a straightforward process that allows you to organize your website's content effectively. To add more pages to your website, you can access the Pages menu located on the left side of the top bar. This menu is highlighted with a blue background. Simply click on the Page option and then click on the Add New Page button. Follow the instructions provided to create a new page for your website. This allows you to expand your site's structure and include different sections or categories as needed. If you wish to change the name of an existing page, you can do so by following a few simple steps. First, navigate to the Page menu, located on the top left side of the builder. Once there, locate the page whose name you want to modify. Hover your cursor over the page name and you will notice a circle icon with three dots appearing next to it. Click on this circle icon to open the page options. After clicking on the circle icon, a menu will appear presenting you with various options for the selected page. From this menu, select Settings. This action will take you to the page settings where you can make changes to the page name and other relevant settings. Edit the page name as desired, ensuring it accurately reflects the content or purpose of the page. Once you have made the necessary changes, click Save to save your modifications. The page name will now be updated and visible in the menu and browser tab, making it easier for visitors to navigate through your website. Once your website is ready, you can preview it. To do this, locate the Preview button located on the top right side of the bar within the One.com Website Builder. Clicking this button will display a preview of your site. While in the preview mode, take the opportunity to navigate through the menu and explore all the pages on your site. This allows you to verify that the content and layout are presented correctly across different pages. It's also important to check the mobile version of your site during the preview. This ensures that your website is mobile friendly and provides a seamless experience for users accessing it from smartphones or tablets. If you encounter any issues or want to make changes to your site after previewing it, simply click Back to Editor to return to the editing interface. This allows you to implement any necessary adjustments or modifications to improve the overall look and functionality of your website. Once you are satisfied with the final version of your website and ready to make it accessible to the public, it's time to publish. Locate the Publish button at the top right corner of the Website Builder interface. Clicking this button will initiate the publishing process, making your website available on the internet. Please note that if you have a premium account, you will be able to publish your website without any limitations. However, if you are using the free trial version of One.com, it's important to be aware that publishing your website is not possible. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using One.com's website builder. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can.
Thanks for watching.